okay so now I'm going to remove this I'll show you how to remove this okay so I'm going to go ahead and and you can reuse the parchment so I'm going to put this aside because you never know I mean it can be reused and the purpose of blind baking is that you don't want raw dough on the bottom you know sometimes the dough gets a little raw on the bottom so okay all right We'll put that on the side. You can fold this up. Also store it in here. Put it all in there. And then I'm just going to let it cool off a little bit before I set it up completely. And I usually let it cool off like in a thing or whatever, but I'm going to let it cool off like that. And then, okay, so, alrighty. So I have my pies here. I'm going to go ahead and put my my pumpkin pie. I mean, not my pumpkin. Sorry. I'm going to put my... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my sweet potato pie. Okay. So I'm going to have two sweet potato, sweet potato, butternut squash sweet potato pies. So that'll go in there. Okay. So that makes two pies. But you never know. You might want to visit somebody and take some sweet potato pie with you. And you'll have one for you and one for whatever, for the holidays. Or you could put it back in the freezer and take it out. I usually, when I, when I freeze them, I freeze them raw. So not this. I'm just going to go ahead and bake them. Okay. So... Alrighty, so what I usually do is I put like a little, and I have a couple of pies that I do this to, so I put a little foil around them so that the crust does not, so I'm going to lower this clear to, okay, bake, uh, to 375 because I want to make sure that um, my pies are going to um, go ahead and cut that. My pies are going to uh, completely bake on the inside. And you want to make sure that they bake on the inside. Okay, come on, baby. I'm going to put that all the way around. That's going to pretty much take like three strips. And if you want, since this is glass, I'm not going to double pan it. If you want to double pan it, if you have thin, uh, a thin tin kind of like um, baking, baking pie bake dish, then Okay, so you just want to go ahead and, I don't know, I might have to put some tape on that, which is fine. You can put some tape on that. <sighs> okay. Okay, we could just kind of put some tape on there. Call it a day. We'll probably eat a pie tonight, and then it's okay to have dessert first. Okay, so that one's ready. Put that one in the oven. foil around it you know split up you don't need to cover the whole foil I mean, just be a little conservative with your foil it's gonna hurt 
put that foil around it like so. Okay. And then when it lifts up, it's going to lift up a little bit of that pulp. Thing. All right. And then you want that. And then... Then you want to put this on there. Okay, and that's going to keep the crust from getting too dark, and so you put your pie in there, and then one more pie. See, it's still raw, but at least it's kind of like halfway raw, so so this has been soaking a while, which is, I don't think it's good, but I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Yeah, and then I'm going to put your, this is going to be a, a crumb, a, a apple crisp. This will be an apple crisp. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to top that off. What, what do your other kids do? Um, Hannah, my daughter is a designer. Kind of uh, she designs shoes, moccasins, and she designs moccasins and she designs jewelry. Oh, wow. And she's got her bachelor's degree in interior decorating. My, my daughter wants to study interior design. Oh yeah, she'll like it. That'll kind of open up. But now she's into punk and hardcore shows in San Francisco. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm going to chop up some nuts. You like walnuts, right? Who doesn't like walnuts? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people don't like it's that movie guy goes, <laughs> So I'm going to put some walnuts, even though the um, crust is pecan. So I'm going to put walnuts. This is going to have a walnut. So, um, mm. Okay, and then get your knife. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it up. Okay. Okay. You want to cut up all these nuts like so. Okay, put those nuts in there, right? And then you want to get some sweetener in there. So let me see, where's my sugar? Where did I put my sugar at? Oh, I thought I had it somewhere around here. Hmm. Well, I know I didn't put it up, did I? Uh -uh. I'm looking for my sweetener. <laughs> my sugar. Hmm. goodness I'm looking for the sugar that I had oh, oh here it is I put it up where I couldn't find it okay so I'm gonna add 
some sugar in there, okay? And then I'm going to add some pumpkin spice and cinnamon. I've never seen visuals Huh? I've never seen visuals Okay. I'm going to put some pumpkin spice in there. I mean some cinnamon and pumpkin spice. And then I'm going to add... So you can add some oats or you can add some flour. To this I'm going to add flour. Put a couple tablespoons of flour. These are big. Yeah, because you want enough to cover. Okay. And then you're going to add some butter to that. Just add some butter. So that's like a half a cube of butter. So this has a lot of butter. Okay. Um, you add butter to that, right? And you just kind of... It's going to be a nice... The butter will melt into the flour. You don't have to add any liquids. Not at all. Okay. And then you might want to add some more sugar since a lot of the sugar kind of fell through over here. So, and, and this is going to thicken up the apples. Add a little bit more flour to that. Okay. You can put on the movie if you want. I don't know why that, um, it's not working. Okay. This is really good. Mm -mm. So, let me see. Can you see what I'm doing here? So you kind of want to put that in there. And, and kind of spread it. And, and that's going to be your your apple crumb. Apple crumb. Just kind of spread it out. And the butter is already in there. Normally in the apple pie, I'll add some butter inside the pie. And that's how I made it when I was in high school, which is over, uh, let me see, almost 50 years. Not quite, but almost. So. Okay. So there you have it. I'm going to wipe the sides. And this one you really don't have to. I mean, you could. I, what I'm going to do is because it's going to flow over. So to prevent it to make a mess underneath the stove, I just put it on some foil like this. Okay? And then I kind of curl it up. So when it does flow, it flows nicely on the foil. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to kind of double it up here. That's how you keep. Boy, if you have counter space, you're really lucky. I don't have that much counter space, so I have a small space that I work out of. And one little area, one specific area. So I'm going to go ahead and let me put the rest of that on there. So you have walnut crumb pie. That's going to be so good. So stick that in there in the oven with the rest. Ah, and put on your timer. Make sure you put on your timer for, I would say, at least 45 minutes. I got it at 375, so... I would do the timer at about, um, I would say about at least, no, not 45 minutes, 50 minutes to an hour. All right. 